In this video we're going to look at plans and elevations and to start with we're going to look at a plan and basically a plan is like a bird's eye view it's where you're looking above an object and below we can see a plan of a house and it is commonly known as a floor plan Floor plans will also have a scale. That scale might be something such as 1 to 200, which basically means that everything that you see in the plan is 200 times larger than that in real life. So let's get into our example now, example 1. And basically it's based on the same floor plan that I showed you before. Now this floor plan, we don't really know what the scale is. They haven't given it to us. But they have given us some information. They have told us that the bedroom has dimensions 3000 millimeters by 3300 millimeters. Whenever they do floor plans, they always seem to put them in millimeters for some reason. So what does that mean? Well, that means for our bedroom that one of the sides is 3000 millimeters and the other side is 3300 millimeters. Obviously, the longer side is going to be 3,300. So, question A says, what is the scale for the floor diagram? What we need to do is we need to grab our ruler and measure these sides. So, we've got this side, which is 2 centimeters. So, we'll write that down. We have a side of 2 centimeters, which is equivalent to 3,000 millimeters. And then we also have the other side which is 3300 millimeters which when you measure it comes out as 2.2 centimeters so we'll write both of them down I'll write this one down here 2.2 centimeters is equivalent to 3300 millimeters okay now we really only need to use one of these but we'll look at both of them anyway we need to write this as a scale so how do we do that well first of all Let's put our dimensions in the same units. So um, what I'll do is I'll say, well, two centimeters is equivalent to, and we'll write it as 300 centimeters because to go from millimeters to centimeters, all you need to do is really just take a zero off. All right, now we can get rid of the units since they're both in the same units and we'll write our scale as two to 300. And then finally, we'll divide both sides by 2, because what that will do is 2 divide 2 is 1, and 300 divide 2 is 150. So we've got our scale now, which is 1 to 150. If we follow the same process with our other measurements, we should get the same scale. So let's see if that works. All right, so we know that we've got 2.2 centimeters, which is equivalent to... 330 centimeters we're just taking one zero off now that they're in the same units we can write 2.2 to 330 and I'm going to divide both sides by 2.2 and the reason for that is 2.2 divide 2.2 is 1 and what do we get when we do 330 divide 2.2 we get 150. Perfect. So since we did it both times and both times we got the same scale, it looks like our calculations are correct. Now we've also got questions B and C to do. So I'm going to go to the next slide. And when we solve this, it's important to remember our scale 1 to 150. Question B says, what are the actual dimensions of the bathroom? Okay, so we'll grab our ruler. Here's our bathroom here. And we can see it's two centimeters wide here. And let's measure the other wall. And I would say that's about 1.4 centimeters. So it's two centimeters by 1.4 centimeters. Now, because we have our scale, we know that everything is 150 times bigger than that. So we're just going to go two times 150 and we're also going to go 1.4 times 150 and see what we get in both cases 2 times 150 is quite simple that's 300 or 300 centimeters we'll now do 1.4 times 
150 and we get 210 so the other wall is 210 centimeters now because it's a floor plan we want to leave everything in millimeters that's just something they like to do so all we need to do is just add a zero on 3000 millimeters and the other one would be 2100 millimeters therefore the dimensions of the bathroom are 3000 millimeters by 2100 millimeters okay moving on to question c now once again we need to write down our scale because we use the scale to work everything out next they want to know the floor area of the storage room okay so grabbing our ruler the storage room measurements are let's say 1.2 centimeters by 2.2 centimeters so we'll write that down 1.2 centimeters by 2.2 centimeters and we need to make this 150 times bigger so 1.2 times 150 what does that equal and 2.2 times 150 what are we going to get for that one bringing up our calculator um, 1.2 times 150 equals 180 and that's in centimeters and the next one 2.2 times 150 gives us 330 so 330 centimeters now because we're finding the area of the storage room I'm going to put it in meters because usually when you do area you usually do it in meters it didn't tell you what units to put it in but I'm going to pick meters to do that um, 180 centimeters is just 1.8 meters and 330 centimeters is 3.3 meters so to find the area we multiply these together we go 3.3 times 1.8 and that will give our area in meters squared 3.3 times 1.8 equals and we get 5.94 meters squared so let's say someone was coming in and they wanted to carpet the storage area they would calculate the area of the storage area and they'd probably round it up they'd say oh it's about six meters squared then they'd use that to do up their quote anyway that concludes example one remember to read the description below for links to work booklets that relate to this video